Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. First of all, I'd like to thank everyone, my new subscriber. You helped me reach that 5,000 goal. Not only that, I'm almost very close to 6,000. Thank you very much to the new subscriber. And also I thank all my uh, previous subscribers for hanging in with me. Today I'm gonna share with you something that uh, fixed the problem I have from last week. All right, let's check it out. So last week I show you my new power station which I bought for $3.99 which is a good deal. Right now it's already went back to $4.99 so I saved 100 bucks. However, I have an issue with this. See this here? One of the chart port, the round one, not that one, this one. Instead of 5.1, 5.5 or 8 millimeter, Rock Power have to make a 6.5 millimeter, which is nobody else is used except Rock Power probably. And an Anderson port, which is, uh, I think is designed for high amperage, uh, high current going in. So, the $100 I saved, I actually had to spend $25 to buy this device to, uh, to make this work for me. Because I have two solar panels. One is a Jackery which I didn't buy, I got uh, gifted by uh, my friend uh, Janice, which she won from uh, Carol Glosser's Life on Will drawing, so thank you Janice. And uh, so, yeah, this is a uh, eight millimeter. This, they call this a female end, okay? So I bought an adapter to go from a male eight millimeter to uh, this type is an Anderson and all right let's check this out so I will put the link to all the product I'm showing here in this video so this adapter enable you to connect two solar panel with a eight millimeter and into an Anderson and However, this thing came, it will not fit into that. Let me show you why. This and as you see, it's hard, it's vertical, right? And this here is horizontal. You could change it yourself this way by sliding it off and then re, uh, you move it to sideway, which uh, you have to do it a certain way. Let me see, let me make sure I do it right. Okay, so the red on top. So you slide them off and then you're gonna position the vertical and do the same thing, slide it back in. And now you have vertical instead of horizontal. All right. Well, Rock Pal graciously put one of these uh, converters if you don't want to do it that way. See, this piece go from vertical to horizontal. But you know what? I don't want too many connections. So I'm gonna just swap it. I already swap it, so it's good to go now. And that's how you uh, convert from horizontal to vertical. All right, let's go check it out. I'm gonna hook up two solar panels one of them is solid and the other one is the uh, Jackery uh, 100. And then we're gonna see how much power we actually get. Right now the sun pretty much, you know, like straight up. So we're gonna see how much uh, watt we could get into the, get chart into the power pack. All right, let's go. All right. So this here is a Renergy 100 watt. I will put that link in the description box also. I got this for $69 when it was on sale on, uh, what do we call it, uh, that thing, that uh, Monday thing on Amazon. This here is a uh, Jackery 100 watt. So they both have, actually, let's go in the back and check out what, what the connection I did in the back. So this panel I designed to be used portable and fixed at the same time because I can mount this on top of my uh, 
minivan camper uh, luggage rack if I want to. You can see the wing neck right there. I have a bracket that I, I specially made for it. But, so, I forgot what the terminal coming out of this. I will put uh, on the screen what it is. I forgot the, 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 the name for it. But I had, I bought a ca another cable which converted, put that, well actually it's an extension. Cause you know, you're going down into the van, you need extension. This is like a six feet, six foot. I will put a link also. Everything I have here, I will try to put the link in the description box. So check that out. Then I bought a conversion cable from this to eight millimeter also. So let's hook everything up and then I will show you. Well, let's see here. We have two male and one female, uh, two female and that go into an Anderson connector. So let's see how much uh, charge we actually get out of this, all right? So right now I'm getting 81 watt from uh, the energy panel. 82, 81. So I'm gonna hook up the other one and then bring you back. I'm gonna hook up the second solar panel in and then you're gonna see how much we actually get from. Okay, so we only got 113 watt from 200, from two 100 watts panel. So we are wasting 70, 80, 88 watt of, of power from the sun. So if you have two power packs, it's better off if you just hook one into one power pack and then let the other solar panel hook up to the other one so you can charge both of them simultaneously instead of wasting your time and hook it up both of them into this. You're not getting much from uh, two panel hooking up uh, parallel together into this uh, power pack. But you only lose what 30 something watts so let me disconnect the other one. Yeah, see? I can I disconnect one of the 100 watt panel and this is what I get uh, left. Maybe because you know I'm uh, above 80 percent, so the MPT uh, charge controller limited. I don't know. I will bring you up to date when this thing's actually low, below 80 percent, 40 between 40 and 80 percent. It will be fully uh, give the full max power charge power. And that's it. That's how you go around and get uh, two solar panel with an eight millimeter and go into this uh, power pack here, which have a 6.5 millimeter and an Anderson charge port. Thanks for watching. I will catch you in the next video. Bye for now.